imagine. Thank you for staying with us on Y254 News. And if you're just joining us tonight, we're talking about youth and mentorship. And you can be part of our conversation by sharing your views and comments on our social media platforms. That is on Y254 channel, hashtag Y254 News. And tonight, our guests who are going to help us understand this topic, we have Gideon Makumi, who is a vice president and head of mentorship under the Youth Mentorship Foundation. And we also have Maureen Kada, who is a blogger, uh, specifying on mental health. Thank you very much, guys, for really finding time to come and uh, talk about you and mentorship um, today. My first question tonight, um, let us talk about really try and understand what is mentorship. Let's start with you, Gideon. Thank you, Patricia. Uh, mentorship for me, there are very various definitions of mentorship, but uh, how I prefer for simplicity, I say this is a relationship uh, of two people. I call it a brother-to-brother brother uh, relationship, sister-to-sister sister relationship, okay. where someone is there for you as an elder brother or, uh, or an elder sister guiding you about various aspects of life. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Maureen, what's your definition of mentorship? <coughs> <coughs> sorry, babe. sorry. Yeah, um, I'm so sorry for that. Yeah, these are the Nairobi, you know. Um, According to me, mentorship is holding someone's hand or guiding someone through and helping them understand themselves, discover their path, and if possible, um, hold their hand all through the journey until you are very, you are a hundred percent sure, actually, that this person is comfortable. Okay. Yes. Uh, so uh, most of the times when people talk about mentorship, there are there are some there are mix up. Um, Things or probably what expectations one should have and all those things. What would you say is the role of a mentor? From uh, the definition, a mentor is someone who is there to guide you. Mm -hmm. And you realize uh, currently the, as the youth, we're having so many issues. Mm -hmm. Every day there are issues affecting the young people. So a mentor is someone who will be there to provide guidance. Okay. Someone who will be there to show you the way. Uh, hold your hand <laughs> and show you this is the right direction to go. So for me, the role of a mentor or the role of mentorship is really taking you through those challenges of life. Okay. Uh, for example, my mentor, Joe says, uh, why he is a mentor, it's because he wants to show me uh, the things that he did which were not right so that I can avoid them. Okay. So we can as well say it's someone who is guiding you and acting as a role model. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so for you, Maureen, I'm very sorry for the cold. Um, you have to deal with the Nairobi weather or the weather that, <laughs> that we are all experiencing right now. But do you have a mentor in your life and what role do they play? Of course, I do have a mentor in this life. And um, the role that they play is holding my hand each time they see me um, going out of the path they'll call me back and uh, caution me and tell me you know what maureen you're doing something wrong you need to go back to what you believe in you need to go back to your calling you need to go back to your dream mm -hmm. yeah uh is it a must for someone to have a mentor you can just live life and figure out things all by yourself is it a must for someone to have a mentor gideon a must maybe not but I would say it's necessary mm -hmm. and important because we don't know everything. Especially in the generation we are in, mm -hmm. there are so many things. We are exposed to so many things, left, right, center, everywhere, negative influence. So you really need someone to help you get out of it okay. because there's a lot, there are a lot of things happening around us that we think we know, but in reality we don't. So for me, I wouldn't say it's a must, but it is very, very necessary to okay. have. Someone will show you the way. Mm -hmm. yes. So uh, Maureen, as a blogger, we know that uh, through your blogs, you get to talk, you get to interact, or you get to share information that is very sensitive and helpful to people, to, that is to your followers. What would you say are the aspects of life that you get to mentor the young people about? Um, first and foremost, just as Gideon has put it, so much is happening around us. And so as I interact with my followers on my blog, I get to get their deep story. Yeah? And um, from what they are facing, I can 
clearly put it out that from one point or the other, from one angle to the other, um, they might have decided to take it on their own, which is completely wrong. Because in each path that you take, or in each path that you decide to take, someone else has been there. And I believe that that person is at the best position to guide you through. Okay. Yeah. Um, would you say, do we have a gap in mentorship in this country? Do we have enough, do we have enough mentors in this country? Well, uh, it all depends with who we are looking up on mm -hmm. as mentors. Mm -hmm. Because you realize that, uh, Riff say, but the kind of people we expect to be our role models mm -hmm. are not really doing their part. Okay. <coughs> They're not being as per our expectations. You find, for example, uh, with all due respect, some things we see on TV, maybe from our politicians or our leaders, <laughs> they are not the things that you would expect mm -hmm. someone in their capacity to do this. Okay. However, we have people who are not in those influential positions, mm -hmm. but they have a lot of substance. We have people whom we've never seen on TV, but they have a lot of uh, information that they, if we look up on them, can really be helpful to us. Mm -hmm. So about whether we have enough mentors, I would say mentors are there, but probably we are not looking up on the right people okay. as mentors. Because for me, a mentor doesn't necessarily have to be that person we see on TV every or day. Who is known by everyone. Yeah, it can be someone who is behind the scenes, yet they, ha they have some values and they have some qualities that you desire as a person. Mm -hmm. So that person can be a mentor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there's, there's, now, there's always the issue of, okay, I, I really want a certain person to be my mentor. Uh, you, you, you admire someone who is doing, uh, for example, if it's a journalist, probably there's a journalist you admire. You admire the way how they do their work. If it's, if it's in business, that is, now speaking about uh, cutting across all fields that we have, do you think, should you go and ask someone to be your mentor or should you wait for someone to identify something in you and be willing to come and mentor you? I think the former is easier mm -hmm. where you're the one who, you know, you know, the whole uh, aspect of mentorship is about what do you want in life? Mm -hmm. How do you want to become in life? Mm -hmm. Then you identify someone who is already excelling in that area. then. It is, we say success is personal. Okay. So it is, it should be your responsibility to identify that Patricia is good in, uh, uh, say, uh, in media. Mm -hmm. So I'm the one to take the initiative to reach out to Patricia. Mm -hmm. I identify that Maureen is good in blogging. Mm -hmm. I'm the one to reach out to her. Mm -hmm. But if I wait for her to come, they might not even notice. Okay. Remember these people, we are looking up as uh, role models. They're busy people. They're people who have a lot of responsibilities. Okay. So I think it is a personal responsibility for someone to go and tell a person that I think there's something I need to learn from you. Mm -hmm. I think there's something I see in you which I desire mm -hmm. and I wish to grow mm -hmm. under your guidance. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Maureen, what, what can you say is, is the impact <coughs> that... <coughs> Sorry. Uh, what can you say is the impact that your mentor has had in your life? Okay. I'm so sorry. sorry for this. Um, first and foremost, <coughs> sorry. Okay. Uh, my mentor is um, he's my great, he's my biggest fan. I would say that. <coughs> sorry. Uh, apologies for all this. And um, it's natural, so. <laughs> My mentor is my greatest fan, and uh, in all that I do, he chips in, yeah? And um, he makes sure. <coughs> <coughs> I think we should, I think I'll we can excuse you. <laughs> yeah, I should, after this. In all that, that I do, um, I'm accountable to someone, yeah? So in everything that I put out there, someone is accountable. I mean, I'm accountable to someone, yeah? Mm -hmm. He may come and question me. What have you put out there? What mm -hmm. have you been doing? Yeah. Okay. So by doing that, 
yeah he has really played a great role okay yeah. uh thank you very much i think it's going to be very fair if we really excused maureen at this moment you don't have to keep on struggling you can just um be part of the conversation if as we will get your final uh, remarks on this Gideon, what could you say is good mentorship how do we uh, what would you say that this is good mentorship good mentorship i think it's about the impact mm -hmm. because there are people who would you would say they are your mentor but when you sit down and do your stock taking mm -hmm. You try and ask yourself, what have I learned from them? Okay. And you don't get. But good mentorship for me, it's a relationship that is based on those values that you can quantify. Those, uh, value, there's a value addition mm -hmm. for that relationship. Mm -hmm. Where you're saying that I've been working with this person or this person has been working with me okay. for this given period of time. Mm -hmm. And I was at point A. Right now, I'm at point B. Mm -hmm. And all of it, I attribute it to the mentorship. For example, I s talk about, uh, I love alluding to my journey in mentorship with my mentor, Joe. Mm -hmm. I hope he's watching. Mm -hmm. Joe is uh, one person who has worked with me from the time I say I was a boy. And he, ha he has helped me become a man. Okay. And for this person, uh, I, I was raised in Korogosho slums, and I've seen a lot of people I went to school with. I've seen a lot of people who we grew together with, but uh, when I look at myself and what was expected of me as a slum boy, mm -hmm. really I see a big difference. Okay. And I can say this is as a result of the mentorship I got. So for me, I would say good mentorship is this, that relationship that is helping you grow. Mm -hmm. That relationship that is helping you discover your purpose in life and you're able to live that purpose and get to the next level in life and even be of value to even those people who are behind you okay. and even your community. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so for me, good mentorship, it is a relationship that you can really quantify the value all the benefits you get out of it. Okay. Mm. Uh, someone once said that there is no mentorship without follow-up. And I would really like us to talk about this because we have people, you look up at a celebrity probably is in South Africa. Uh, maybe you look up uh, at someone who is um, in Uganda, Tanzania, in the US. Can you say this person is your mentor based on this statement that there is no mentorship without follow-up? You're the end of a mentorship foundation. Would you say that someone can just look up at someone and be like, it's my mentor, even though you don't interact with them, probably either online or really just admire the work that they do? Yes, it is possible uh, in the sense that there are some people who would mentor you indirectly. There's direct mentorship and indirect. For example, I'll say I used to admire a gentleman called uh, Miles Mundro. I never met him, I never talked to him, but there are some things I was seeing in him which I would desire okay. and say, I'm learning this. So how do I get mentorship from them? It is through listening to their audios, watching their teachings, reading their books. That is still a form of, they're mentoring me, but indirectly. Mm -hmm. At the same time, there are those one-on-one, uh, -on -one whereby this person, you are accountable to them. Uh, she said, Maureen said that she is accountable to her and mentor. mentor yeah. And accountability is really where you even get time. You sit down, look at why, what, what are the steps that we are making? Mm -hmm. What are the things that we've done so far? So that is where follow-up comes in. And I would say it's important to say at this juncture that a lot of work is on you as a mentee. Mm -hmm. You're the one, remember, you're not paying this person for them to mentor you. Yes. Remember, it is not a right that you have that they must mentor you. So it is really your responsibility. They are doing, I could say, quote in quotes, they are doing you a favor yeah. by helping you because you are not meant to be their business, but they are creating time and even investing in that relationship to make sure and that they are helping you grow. Mm -hmm. So 
it is two there are two ways to look at it direct and indirect okay it is all dependent on what you're doing with who mm -hmm. at what time okay yeah. let us look at boundaries <laughs> uh for young people out there and you're looking uh you really want to have a mentor mm -hmm. uh you've approached someone and this person has guided you all through we've had stories of people who say mentees turn out to start now asking for financial favors from their mentors and this ruined the, the relationship mm -hmm. uh we've had people feel like you can call me at whatever time mm -hmm. and probably sometime there are limits that are there but people <coughs> do not respect these limits so what boundaries should mentees and also mentors have to make sure that the relationship becomes a relationship that benefits both the mentor and the mentee thank you patricia it is very important for both the mentor and the mentees to agree on the modalities of this mentorship relationship mm -hmm. and like you've said there are some people who take mentorship to be now something where i now need to benefit financially i now i've had this person sasa i can do anything that i want mm -hmm. it is very very important and crucial at the beginning of this journey because mentorship is a journey mm -hmm. you agree how are we going to go about it how often do we meet where do we meet what are the agendas because like you've said there are some people who do not have boundaries sometimes you find it's male to female it started very innocently but with time the, the agenda changes mm -hmm. and it is natural because sometimes you find if you're not disciplined you are likely to deviate mm -hmm. so for for the benefit of the mentee and even the mentor and even what I would call integrity it is very very necessary for these two people in this engagement to know how do we go about it mm -hmm. and it is courtesy if someone allows you into their life you also know what are the limits okay you also know you we, we must acknowledge, acknowledge that your mentor is not your sponsor because that's a wrong way Th that is a mistake that most of the young people make mm -hmm. you think that now i've got someone who will be financing mm -hmm. my education who will be financing my bills if a mentor so wishes That's they can okay. do that mm -hmm. but it is at their discretion mm -hmm. it is not you need to know it is not a right it is just a privilege that you've got mm -hmm. this person has decided mm -hmm. to get into your life and help you grow mm -hmm. yeah. okay so we we know that uh in a relationship between a mentor and the mentee the mentor is the one most of the times who is given mm -hmm. is a this is a person giving the guidance is a person who is probably following up to see we talked about starting this business where have you where have you reached we talk about we talked about you getting this job at what point are you what do you gain as a mentor in this relationship a very good question more often than not we think that uh it is just the mentee that benefit but uh with time you learn as a mentor you also getting you know it is a challenge this person is looking up on you mm -hmm. they count on you for guidance so they keep you on toes mm -hmm. you want to learn sometimes you'll be asked by a mentee a question mm -hmm. and you say catches you by surprise mm -hmm. so you have to go and do your homework so in the process of mentoring this person you're also growing mm -hmm. and, and for me i think there's nothing that is so fulfilling than seeing a life changing as a result of the little efforts you've made mm -hmm. so as a mentor you may not get much but the moment this person changes even the way they look at life the moment this person becomes something in the society i can tell you you don't need any kind of payment for that mm -hmm. and even in the process you get to experience there's some experiences you get in the process that would help you grow even as a mentor mm -hmm. and there are some exposures you get which otherwise you wouldn't have gotten had you not been involved in this kind of journey mm -hmm. with your mentee mm -hmm. so there are a lot of benefits uh, in different ways but i'll say uh, it is mutual growth for both the mentor and the mentee mm -hmm. in various aspects depending on the areas of mentorship that you 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 guiding someone mm -hmm. yeah. so um how do you get to balance 
all the responsibilities that you have. Uh, you you are a CEO of you are a CEO of the Joe Foundation. You're the vice president of the Youth Mentorship Foundation. You are an administrator and a human resource of the Better Network. How do you get to have to do all these things and make sure that you also don't forget yourself, you don't forget your mentees, and you don't forget your other responsibilities? Thank you. Uh, it's an interesting question, but I would say first and foremost. Uh, it's by the grace of God. Mm -hmm. And second, I think uh, in this journey, sometimes passion is everything. Mm -hmm. The moment that you discover your purpose in life and you discover why you're in this world for, you definitely get time for it. Mm -hmm. For me, being a product of mentorship, having people in my life come and help me grow has been a challenge mm -hmm. and uh, i talked about joe mwangi joe mwangi is one busy person very busy at his workplace but over the years observing his life i've seen him being able to move around uh, responsibilities at work he, there are so many initiatives that he runs mm -hmm. and he gets time for that. But one thing I discovered which is what has been helping me too, it is just about organizing your time and knowing what are your priorities and knowing where, where to invest your time. Because again, it is not everything that you supposed you find yourself doing is necessary or important to do. Mm -hmm. So it's basically about uh, knowing what to do at what time mm -hmm. and really knowing why you're doing it. Mm -hmm. So that is how I'm able to probably uh, do all these things and still get time for family, mm -hmm. friends, and, and have even activities. My Oh, Bella. wow, yeah. <laughs> so uh, that is how we hand for you tonight. Uh, apparently, time is not on our side. And we are going to have Maureen uh, when the code is gone because she's a person who can also share a lot of information on mentorship and also on the mental health uh, awareness uh, blogs. And thank you very much for being with us tonight. My name is Patricia Moriyoki. Do have yourselves a very good night.